Oh, come, let's worship God and bow low before God who made us, for he is the Lord our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we enter into this sacred celebration, let's acknowledge our sins to so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the country of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let's pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The serpent was more crafty than any other wild animal that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God say, You shall not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden, but God said, you shall not eat the fruit of the tree that is in the middle of the garden, nor shall you touch it, or you shall die. But the serpent said to the woman, You will not die, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw the tree was good for food and that it was a delight to the eyes and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise, she took of it fruit and ate and she also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate. Then the eyes of both were opened and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig, tree, fig leaves together and made loincloths for themselves. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees in the garden. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Happy are those whose sins are forgiven. Happy are those whose sins are forgiven. Happy are those whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Happy are those to whom the Lord imputes no iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. Happy are those whose sins are forgiven. Then I acknowledged my sin to you, and I did not hide my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Happy are those whose sins are forgiven. Therefore, let all who are faithful offer prayer to you at a time of distress, the rush of mighty waters shall not reach them. Happy are those whose sins are forgiven. You are a hiding place for me. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with glad cries of deliverance. 
Happy are those whose sins are forgiven. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Open our hearts, O Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. Alleluia, Alleluia. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus returned from the region of Tyre and went by the way of Sidon towards the Sea of Galilee in the region of the Decapolis. They brought to him a man who was deaf and who had an impediment in his speech. And they begged to him to lay his hand on him. Jesus took him aside in private, away from the crowd, and he put his fingers into his ears, and he spat and touched his tongue. Then looking up to heaven, Jesus signed and said to the man, A father, that, that is, be opened. And immediately his ears were opened, and his tongue was released, and he spoke plainly. Then Jesus ordered them to tell no one, but the more he ordered them, the more zealously they proclaimed him, proclaimed it. They were astounded beyond measure, saying, He has done everything well. He even makes the deaf to hear and the mute to speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, throughout his public ministry, Jesus communicated the varied aspects of the kingdom of God through his many parables and his miracles. Through the miracles, Jesus revealed the power of God over the forces of nature, over demonic possessions, sickness, death, and so on. In today's gospel, Jesus heals a deaf mute or a man who cannot speak and hear. I think Jesus has a very hard time in curing this man. It is because he takes him away from the crowd and then he puts his fingers into his ears, then makes spittle and touches his tongue. Then he breathes uh, deeply and groans, Ephata, be opened. William Barclay, in his commentary, describes why did Jesus cure this man in this such a way? First, he takes this man away from the crowd. It is because Jesus is so considerate. The deaf mute man is always embarrassed of his deafness. Maybe for him it is better to be blind than to be mute and cannot hear. And so Jesus shows his most tender consideration for the man whose life is for him is so difficult. So Jesus understands his predicament. Second, Jesus puts his hands in the man's ears and touches his tongue with spittle. It is because in those days, people believed that spittle of a holy man had a curative quality. And then Jesus looks up to heaven to show that the healing comes from God, especially he is in a place where no one knows of him. 
Why did Jesus open his ears before he healed his speech impediment? His hearing retained first, then he could speak. There is a reminder for us, perhaps, that hearing can be more important than speaking. Good speaking comes from good listening. This is true of our relationship with each other. We need to listen to each other, other bef before we know what to say to each other. It is also true to our relationship with God. We need to listen to him. We need to listen to the word of God before we can proclaim that word. Attentiveness to the Lord comes before bearing witness to him by what we say or what we do. So the same words of our Lord to the deaf and a man with speech impediment are also addressed to each one of us. Efatha, be opened. We all need to have our ears opened so that we can hear and understand the message of Jesus. With open ears, we listen to the voice and pleas and cry of others in their sufferings and in their pain. Then, having heard and listened, we overcome our speech implement and become proclaimers of good news of Jesus, not only in our words, but especially in deeds, as we respond to the cries of those who are in need of our help. We hear and listen, we speak and we act, and finally we love. Like the deaf mute, we are also healed by God according to his ways and ours. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's place before God all our prayers and petitions. Lord, we pray for the Holy Catholic Church. Make us instruments of your hope and healing that we may relieve the suffering and pain of all those who are burdened with illness, addiction, injury, and frailty. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for those who struggle with each passing day, all those who have no food, no homes, or no opportunity, those forced to live on city streets, all who are scared and alone because of this pandemic, those in nursing homes and hospitals who struggle to survive, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for our missionaries, volunteers, and government workers who serve your people in places where there is crime, violence, and poverty. May they bring hope to those who live in fear. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, touch all who experience brokenness and incompleteness. Restore them to fullness of health, relationships, and in direction, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Today's Mass is offered for the intentions of Hiknak Meglik, Francis Nguyen, Joseph Phi Guen, Gail Mackey, and Ron Vader. For their intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pause for a while and offer all the inten or our personal intentions of this Holy Mass. Gracious and loving God, happy are those whose sins are forgiven for you rebuilt and strengthened the bound of friendship between yourself and them. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this vine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant we pray that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy and Almighty Father, for out of compassion of for the witness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth, earth are full of, of your, your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Ronald Peter, our Bishop, Joseph, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, our God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come. come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this, this day, day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and stay from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace, and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the, the world. world. Have Amen. mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy word. that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, the word, and my, my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed.
let them thank the Lord for his mercy from his wonders for the children of man for he satisfies the thirsty soul and the hungry he fills with good things let's pray O oh God who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice grant us we pray so to live that made one in Christ we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord amen the Lord be with you. and with your spirit may almighty God bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen the mass is ended go in peace glorifying the Lord with your life thanks be to God <laughs>